Adrian Orr actually just came out and said that Bitcoin is not a means of exchange, nor is it a store of value or a unit of account. Yet people try to use it as that. And I think what's so awesome about this quote, I'm going to keep it in my scrapbook of things I'm going to show in the future, perhaps. But, you know, like a mortgage payment might be up 200 percent in the last two years. That doesn't feel very stable, but he's calling Bitcoin um, or crypto not a stable coin. Like he was also quite critical of stable coins as well. Um, he's, I'm sure he's got a point around the edges there, but it just goes to show that the um, the central banks, while they are open minded and they're quite keen to use the technology, they're not quite keen to use something that is public, freely available, uncensorable, distributed. They want to use something that's centralized. But on the topic of Bitcoin, nine ETFs, just over nine ETFs, I think I wrote down here somewhere. Um, now have $10 billion of assets in. So at the start of this year, yeah. we had the approval of Bitcoin ETFs, and nine of them now have a combined value of over $10 billion. Inflows are going bananas. 